is it so dark? Probably would have been a good idea to have like one light on. So, Shazam 2, aka Shazam Fury of the Gods, is now shooting in America. Being produced by Peter Sanford, who worked on the first one, which is insane, and being directed by David S. Sandberg, who's a pretty cool guy. Met him at the Shazam premiere in the UK. They're back at it again. So, on David S. Sandberg's YouTube channel, he dropped the 17-second teaser of the suit, which is pretty cool. As we know, the original suit with the cape and the massive, massive padded suit that got out absolutely trolled to high heaven they obviously revealed this suit this early on in filming why because they're shooting outside and they don't want potato quality images to get out like what happened with the last suit and also this is quite common Robert Pattinson's Batman suit got officially revealed before they publicly filmed they don't like studios don't like potato quality things to get out so there's a lot to break down here so what is good YouTube what's you here if you're new around here make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos check us out on Instagram at what's you if you want to see the face behind the voice also check us out on Twitter what's you G aka the nightmare and check us out on twitch.tv forward slash wash juice so they don't shoot movies in chronological order so if you've seen this image of this new suit thinking damn is he just going to go from the old suit with a cape to this new suit no they shoot movies in order they feel like shooting it so as you notice there is no cape on this suit for obvious reasons this would most likely be added in post-production predominantly we think now this suit doesn't look like it's been padded but i think it has let's be honest i don't think zachary levi although he's a cool guy even though he trolled the there is no snyder cut and he's a meme spoke to him on the uk premiere pretty pretty sound guy in real life i do think there's a bit of padding in this suit still because he's either that or he's put a damn a lot of size on the emblem in the middle does look very very reminiscent to the Black Adam suit in the comics. Now, because Black Adam, aka Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, and these two are going to have to meet each other, you would think there'd be some similarities with the respective suits, or at least you'd hope that because everyone's expecting The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, to show up in a post credit scene. I don't really understand why that. And also, there's also rumors, fake news, that Henry Cavill has been seen on set of Black Adam and on the set of Shazam Fury of the Gods. No, guys. Henry Cavill news at some point to do being superman again no that's not what's happened so the suit is freaking awesome i really love it it's got a really cool reaction online unlike the other one just gerard is getting images and zachary levi's face is pretty chiseled so he's looking hella lean so credit to just gerard as they are where the pictures will come in i will leave a link down below till the full article so fury of the gods now what would what does this mean? It means there's going to be some gods in this movie for sure. Maybe? We don't know. So let's recap what happened in the post credit scene of Shazam. So the first credit scene was Dr. Savannah after he's defeated by Shazam and the Shazam family at the fun fair. He's in a cell frantically trying to draw symbols in their correct order to return to the Rock of Eternity, likely in the hope of regaining the power of the seven deadly sins that were taken from him. And it's worth saying that Mark Strong has pretty much confirmed he isn't in this movie. As Savannah fails again, he's torn by a mystery voice primitive sim symbols you walk in talking monkeys with your cave drawings you assume there's only one way to gain magic no 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 there are more ways than a mind can imagine it says searching for the source savannah spots a caterpillar like creature on a ledge in his cell comic book fans will know this is mr mine a highly intelligent world who is a major supervillain in the shazam comics and also has ties to lex luther so this is interesting savannah has frequently been part of the Mr. Mind Monster Society of Evil in the comics and seen hints at similar team up in the sequel. Oh, wouldn't that be fun, guys? So, the seven realms in reference to the seven magical lands, which are connected to the Rock of Eternity in the comics, could play a pivotal part in this movie, but we don't know. Eagle Eye viewers will notice that Mr. Mind cameo before the credits scene as he's in a jar during the opening scene when Savannah visited the Rock of Eternity. As a child, later on after Savannah has freed the seven deadly sins, the jar is broken and if you want to know who voiced Mr. Mine it was none other than your boy
boy, David S. Sandberg, according to Digital Spy, at least. So Mr. Mine could be, could be the villain. Just because it's called Fury of the Gods does not mean there's going to be any interconnecting connection between the actual gods. As we know, DC is going through a massive reshuffle and Walter Hamada is an executive producer. And as we know, David S. Sandberg did show massive homage to Henry Cavill Superman in the first movie and Batfleck, lots of BVS merchandise, the bat orang was even in the movie. Henry Cavill was supposed to show up in the post credit scene, but for some reason they couldn't break a deal, so he didn't. So it was his stunt double that showed up with Billy Batson to see Freddie Freeman right at the end of the movie, and it was pretty freaking cool. So there will be some interconnection to the Snyderverse or the Shazamverse, but the way they're setting this up is Shazam will be part of the Black Adam universe, which at least based on Danny Garcia's comments is Black Adam universe is going to be its own universe and everything else can kind of fit in between said universe which is going to be very interesting now the rock did have a we well, didn't really have a dig he kind of had a dig so he was talking saying the rock's black adam suit won't have any padding it's a fun process when you have someone like dwayne the rock johnson who is driven disciplined determined to do the work there's a continuous evolution and involving vision that we're always working towards we've been building up to black adam movie for a while with the goal of creating a real life superhero physique with no padded superhero suit necessary because the rock is a freaking beast so it's gonna be interesting when the rock and zachary levi meet in a movie based on the new suit zachary levi shazam could look decent with some posts making a little making the muscles pop a little bit more they will be shooting this movie for at least three months probably and yes there probably will be a trailer at the dc fandom event because pony smasher himself david s sandberg has already teased the suit already pretty cool reveal we got the boots everything pretty cool now are they going to cgi in the cape i think they will but the little teaser that david s sandberg pony smasher did put up is freaking cool confirmed the lights out is now part of the dceu the voice crackled why is it so dark in here pretty cool so i don't know if shooting a little moment we already know more about this movie than we do about the flash movie which is supposed to be the most important movie in the dceu but we know absolutely nothing about it so it's cool that mr pony smash himself is getting involved where is the movie going we don't know but mr mine if that's the way they want to go down just because the title is fury of the gods does not actually mean fury does not mean actually the gods will be in it but they could do so it is pretty cool really cool and also before the video started we played the, the meme david sandberg was trolling people when he leaked the script on reddit obviously it's not real guys but it could be it really could be so like i said guys we don't know much about it but that's a little recap of the post credit scene pretty cool and there are some there are some leaked like images and set photos going around and there's even a leaked video going around but it literally shows nothing so we're not gonna put leaked in the title okay we might do we might do if we can include this clip but realistically it's too far out to, to even break down what it is it's just literally them filming a scene on a rooftop and it looks like shazam is up in the air doing something but it's too far out it's too panned in it's probably coming out they're probably zooming in and, and the, the video camera so we don't know what's going on in that scene but i thought i'd bring it up seeing as um the story broke last night and we're doing this the next day being in england we uh sometimes are really breaking stories but at least we can include the teaser where david s sandberg was like coming soonish why is it so dark in it exactly so it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool and as for the henry cavill superman it is currently in atlanta for black adam no i've not heard anything the same go and yeah like last night there was also some rumors going around not started by me that apparently new superman rumors tonight apparently danny garcia and co has had some talks regarding henry cavill as i keep telling you guys there has been talks already this is not new information as i said henry cavill is not done as superman that's fake news and henry cavill superman does have one more role left on his contract which will most likely be an appearance in the black adam movie probably a cameo level at the end of the movie i presume but there is no new kind of talks these talks have been ongoing for such a long time and i even get asked crazy stuff like is it true that henry cavill got his team to say to DC you make me Superman now or else I'm walking away Henry Cavill's too much professional he loves playing Superman so much he would not do that he would not say that he's too much of a professional yeah he didn't get involved in all the release of Snyderverse stuff but he got involved he was literally there when they released it when he when Henry Cavill was like yeah show him show him and then it's like yeah Snyder Cut coming so Henry Cavill is a professional he's more professional than 99% of the other actors he doesn't get into politics he doesn't say anything unless he wants to so like always guys check us out on Instagram at War Stew. Check us out on Twitter, War Stew G. And I will catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch you later.